Welcome to my nail day! I filmed my nail routine not so long ago, but since then my nail routine actually changed a lot. I feel like even I changed since that last video, because before nails wasn't that important for me. Yes, I liked that they long, they strong, all of this stuff, but I wasn't caring enough about my nails. I was like, well, as long as I don't need to do them, I'm not gonna do them. Right now I'm taking this topic a little more serious, and every two or three weeks I'm actually Actually doing manicure. It's been around two and a half weeks since my last manicure and I feel like my nails are ready for the next round. So let me bring you with me. I'm starting with preparing tools, huge one liter jar of chamomile tea and setting the table. Yes, you heard it right, table. I broke my laptop screen and now I have to connect it to the monitor and since then I have to have to do a lot of things using a table and the chair, which is a nightmare for me, but I have to admit it's way more comfortable to do nails on the flat surface. And let's start manicure. The biggest change in my routine is that I don't use a drill machine anymore and I don't do anything with the cuticle. You will understand why a little later. I use a file to remove nail polish from my nails. I'm not trying to remove everything, I just have parts that grown and need to be blended with the nail. I honestly enjoy this process way more. Before I had to push myself and I was telling you that I would do one nail a day, but this is much faster and I could do it while just sitting and enjoying Doctor Who. Not all nails easy blending with file, so I do use machines sometimes, but a little differently than before. I wet the nail and on the first speed, which is almost nothing, just trying to blend the border from old polish and nail. I shorten my nails every two or three weeks now, they are growing fast and I notice that after a certain length it's not so aesthetic anymore and kind of even uncomfortable. And as you already saw, I never change nail form, it's always an almond, I tried different ones but it just doesn't feel right for me. And now it's time for the nail polish. The process is the same as I showed in my previous video, but much, much, much thinner layer. I realized that I don't like any products on my nails and I want them to look as natural as possible. That is the main reason why I don't use machine anymore and it's enough to use just a nail file. First step is base. On top of the base, coat of clear acrylic powder and right after, without any LED light, I remove all the excess of powder from the nail with the brush. I noticed that if I skip this step, nails would look blurry and all this natural look would be lost. Then I just add layer of top coat and that is it. For nails that looks a little damaged, I apply a first layer of base with polishing motions to fill all the gaps and make them shinier. And for the weak nails, I apply second layer of acrylic powder just for the center, which called stress zone, so this nail won't break. And that is it, it's like the easiest nail routine. I love that I can do all the nails at once and both hands take me just around an hour or hour and a half, depending on with what attention I'm watching the show. Of course, this routine is far from perfect, but I actually enjoy it and I love how natural my nails are looking right now. I told you I'm gonna tell you about cuticle. For me, removing cuticle and working with cuticle and manicure process is the hardest freaking moment of whole manicure because it takes long. It's really dangerous because you can literally hurt yourself. Even in manicure salon, even the most professional masters sometimes can accidentally hurt your cuticle. So I hate this process and I'm always scared I can do something wrong. And I just decided to go back to my method that I've been using like in 2000. 19 in 2020 it's the method when i just not letting my cuticle grow at all you don't need to remove it if you don't let it development development develop something like that so basically what i do every day is i just push my cuticles back. It's just like a little habit when I see it and when I watch something or sometimes when I go to steam room, I have like 
20 minutes, 15, 20 minutes in steam room where I'm literally doing nothing. And at this moment, I can just like push my cuticles back. And the cool thing about pushing cuticles, you can use pusher. <laughs> I use my nails because my nails are super long. They can literally be the pusher. So I'm actually just take my nail and I just push my cuticle back. It's really important to not put a lot of pressure. You don't even need to do this every day. I just like, for me, it's already a habit. I'm just doing this after automatically but i feel like once a week would be more than enough just to take a pusher and pull your cuticles back like inside and that's it it's just not gonna grow and when you're gonna do manicure it's not gonna take like gazillions of time for you to apply your nail polish because your cuticle will be on the way I always show you my manicure process, but I never show you what I do with my nails every single day because long nails need some work. When you cook, all the food goes under your nails. When I'm doing makeup, when I'm doing like filming something, I get a bunch of foundation, liners, eyeshadows, everything goes under my nails. So I every day, like before going to sleep or like after filming, after cooking, depending on what I'm doing, I go and they have special tools brush just for my nails and I actually brush my nails from inside to make sure that it doesn't have anything under my nails and another thing that I'm doing I was telling about this in my video how to grow nails I'm actually doing matrix massage right here longer you have nails more chances that this nail is gonna break and yes of course I use like acrylic powder to keep them stronger but I really want my own nails also be like super strong that's why I massage in matrix when you massage the matrix you kind of make the nails produce more particles it's the same like doing hair massage for hair grow you activating the thing that producing particles and your nails become thicker and stronger and they grow in faster and that's why i'm doing this massage because i don't want my nails to break and you can see like right now i have only one layer basically of acrylic powder but my nails are super strong they like super 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 strong so yes that's all my secrets i hope this video was useful for you let me know if you have any questions in the comments or if you want me to film certain video also let me know in the comments and i will see you in the next video. Love yourself.